Welcome back. A crazy matchup between two teams that have one win and one loss each. So every subsequent game, as it always does in the Swiss stage, feels like it matters so much more. It's Aurora up against Heroic for this best of three. If you trade out your life just for your carry to get some farm, even then it's not like... Right, level 2, here we stage. go. Ready in the bot side, setting up onto K1. Because the bashers, you can't really run away from this, you just need to stand your ground and fight. KJ manages to get the first blood, but losing your carry for it. But so the runes are going to be absolutely crucial. Both supports are going to have to fight for their mid laners. Uh, for Aurora and the KJ KJ is just dead. Easy setup there, it's a nice little stun though, the homing missile buys time, Jet's able to get the kill, but with the rotation from Schofield, they're actually able to return it. Oh, Slada sleeping in the back, he's gonna die. Yeah, 6 minute, uh, usually you rotate to the mid, instead now you're chasing down into this life stealer. too much move speed between the sprint and the ink swell, they'll be able to punch him down and... Bot tower, I think bot tower is definitely the next one, and then you can invade and control the ancients. Okay. Q, ink swell. Jabs is here with the corrosive haze. K down is there, but seems like a big KJ coming in to help his ally out. Here's analog as well. Uh oh, DP here to play means that it's no longer going nice to be snowball. Aurora. You need to turn around and run snowball, preserving Schofield and bringing Holy KJ shit, forward. this pass oh is so my good. God, the shots! This guy, Schofield, don't let him have his best hero, but the Chrono 23 from out of nowhere, he might have just been able to set up for his team to turn things no around. Damage. Analog, he doesn't want to pop the Exo, but they have the damage to kill off Schofield and KJ. Chasing off onto K1 now, time walk forward with the body blocks, they're trying to find the last hit on the Lifestealer. He'll try and dance himself away, even Pink Paul face boots, he'll be fine. Let's say your True. team is not doing well, but you're doing well, you, all you can do is like, once That's a call means you come in and call Oh, oh jump in, Malefice, black hole off the mark! Off the mark, he gets the time walk off. He got a little greedy, he tried to put down the Midnight Pulse, and there is the Chrono locking the Vi Lama in. That is a huge price to pay. Here That's comes the Calvary. As well. Snowball. Still trying to come through. Here comes the Hero Tusk, trying to save the day. They'll get the kill into Ollie, setting up into Lauren off as well, holding him in place. That's an Athos from Analog. Pretty oh, cool pickup, but they aren't able to stop the TP. Smart TP. plays from Analog. I mean, Aegis is 50 point. seconds. 50 seconds. You want to go ahead of it. You got to try and get the flat onto K1. A lot of burst damage. He's not able to get the infest just narrowly. Ooh, pops out immediately, runs for the wins. He'll be fine with the help of that Pavise. And the haste rune gets himself out of dodge here. 23, a perfect chrono. Holds onto the DP and they have all the time in the world to work down their Aegis. They still pop it, but the Tusk is going to go down as well. This black has become hole. disastrous for Heroic now as they need to run away. There's not a black hole opportunity for a mile. The Vailama going to try and turn it around onto this Dragonite, but it instantly gets destroyed. I mean, heroic. You gotta wonder what they're doing sticking around so long there. Aurora catch them with their pants down and more. They only miss out on the lifestealer kill, but they lose nothing for their engagement. And Schofield's bringing Hector in, into the enemy territory. See Lorinov jump out now onto this Dragonite, starting to take some damage. Dropping low, the feast going to work and beautiful shots holding him in place. No Dragon Tail, and that's gonna be a very easy pick off. Now they are. Straddling a very uncomfortable ride that's just oh, rocking Hector? them right in the center. Hector finds a void. Can he found out here free Chronos here? Now I don't know whether you have He's enough tanky. damage to kill him off. Yeah, he is tanky, and in comes the Vi Lama gets the board. Okay, that is what you were looking for. Finally, get your revenge. Ten minutes later, the fight has broken out. No jabs. Looking for initiation. Invest into KJ. Beautiful shot. Locks him in. But is this really the target you want? The fish will be able to slither his way out. Ollie looking like he has to give up his life for it. The rolling starting to search forward here, get a couple of key pickoffs. Schofield still on the chase, but with the Inkswell helping the Slada out with the move speed, he will be able to get away. Perfect Inkswell pops right at the time, but Schofield hot on his heels doesn't let him get an inch away. And this Tusk again and again just coming up big for the heroic lineup. Aurora without jabs, he doesn't want to buy back. No Chrono. 
doesn't seem like the defense is very feasible. The strong snow try, jump in, and he saves up the game. Holding on to the snowball save. Here, but the snowball save, there it is. Schofield again. This guy has been a superstar for Heroic, and he's able to kill off the Dragon Knight. Now, Jabs is back in the fray. There isn't a Chrono available still. And it looks like they will lose this tower. No, Exo runs out. Just in time, the Glyph as well, buying them every bit of the duration that they need to come back into this. But again, Schofield into the mix. Ollie in some trouble and just gonna get killed off under his own tier force. They know that without this teamfight chrono, there's no chance that Aurora can have. Now 23, he's still playing around with them, still trying to scare them into some sort of reaction, but they are not going to take the bait. Jeff's is gonna TP in. They're TPing in, they're using the 23. Jets. Boy, that's oh bait. My goodness. They're so, showing him in the lane and everyone else is TPing in. This is crazy, Jams. He's gonna go Jams. in with a four man crush, but where's the follow up? Has that the Roche cat trying to get the Roche, but he's not able nice to use. outclick K1. Gets the Agonims and Yul's up. Holds Slada up in the sky. That's not where a fish should be. And now he just has to run. Aurora, the bait didn't black pay off. It's a huge point. black hole. The Vile Armor finds three, but there's the Chrono. 23 was able to survive and punch down onto the Enigma. You've lost three heroes already, though. Your allies, they're running thin. It's just Jams in 23. The last members remaining up against K1 and the gang with a silence up on two. Schofield, a beautiful setup with the punch. And 23, he's feared up, he's silenced, and he has nowhere to go. A second life available for K1 if he even needs it, but it doesn't look to be the case. Schofield, he'll survive thanks to that abyssal. No, the last punch is there, but Jets, nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. Five members down, and K1 with an ultra kill. No, oh, Jabs did take the cheese, yeah. at least he got that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very nice use by Analog there, and then yeah, stopping him from getting more. Yeah, things could have really turned around if they were able to get it. And these Aurora heroes, all the ultimates still available though. They're still hanging Yeah, 23 Savage, once it's 25. He's not 25 level yet. Yeah, not just yet. Very narrowly missing it. Just throw whatever they can onto the game. Bait out some sort of response. Not falling for the bait, yeah. I mean, just immediately. Oh, Chronosphere? E blade, oh, nice save. The e blade is perfect. Analog is fine, and that's your Chronosphere use. You gotta imagine that Aurora, out of options now, facing up against K1 with the Abyssal. Fish jabs out of that tricky situation, but what else do you black have? Coming. Dubai Lama in with the black hole again, finds 23 Savage! Nowhere to run, essentially a four-man black hole as Heroic Ravage Aurora and leave no survivors. Jabs will go down, trying desperately to fight against the creeps. He's trying to peel them off his base, but Analog feeling so confident, standing right in front of their fountain, and GG is called as Heroic. Come out the gate swinging. This late-game timing that you like, we're the ones in control here. Game number one goes into their hands. You flip the script a bit. Rune fight. That. Et wants uh, five heroes in the spirit. They can't. They can't. They can't show their face oh. up against him. Anti mage. Anti mage no! meta break. Oh, my oh no. He's just dead. Again, rune fight is where the action will happen. Scorpio blocks off that ramp. The room is going to be bot side. Lauren off, able to snatch it up. Divide Lama from seemingly out of nowhere. Turn around for the Pulverize. Already using that lift. And they don't have any way of saving Lauren off. Oh, here comes Analog. Sorry, grab him. Oh, nice heals. Heals set up. Easy onslaught and a catch. More than enough damage. Perfectly executed from Heroic. What you get from babysitting and giving your left the best treatment you can get. And KJ, gonna die to the roll. Yeah, a fine. As a response. yeah, he thought that Rubik was in range. Yeah, but Skullfield is gonna be the the target again. As he always is. Just snowball just to buy some time, right? Lauren off like, yo, you like to roll up, I can roll up too. And both teams are trying to run into each other. The disco pony wants to fight with Arcane Rune. Yeah. Hector, the not on. there, Hector. No, needs to run, shackled to the tree, but still gets stomped up, lifted down. KJ's Orchid. joined the play, but it's really the jab. The Orchid on the Rubik, but this is the fight you can win. Scorpion trying to come through, but here comes the Vi Lama. BKB reveal Q, still hidden. He's gonna get zapped down by the Disco Pony, and now jabs, even with his plate mail, I don't think it's enough KJ to survive. Ollie can only stomp from the trees, but by then it's a bit too late. That's true. About best case scenario you could ask for. Great, uh, Earth Slicker and Stun's coming out, but they're not done. 
set up again onto Ollie, found him deep inside the jungle trying to deward, and he will be punished for it. Aurora, again, their specialty so far this tournament and throughout their short existence has been buying time for their horse. Well, not looking for the setup in the mid lane, not able to get the punch off of the cast though. Oh, they got the cancel on the roll. The Lama, the blink in, just hold him in place. Lauren off, no one to run, just gets swiped down by the primal beast. Anti mage is here. Comes through, and anti mage has joined the fight, but this is not the engagement that you wanted. K1 with the chase down of the focus fire looks straight at 23, and he just has to blink away. You've lost two calls already. Divine Lama feeling so comfortable. Oh, he'll eat a pulp rise. Okay, that's a very funny animation, but it's not gonna stop Divine Lama from just onslaughting out of there. He is completely fine three tower and what is the response you need some sort of crazy right. roaming agonim's online let's go yep, here we go his mana. okay so they stopped the so pulverize okay it's happening they're doing it they're forcing back the side of the mana. big mana void into the sky yeah big mana void but first life now k1 has to turn and run but he's taking quite a bit of damage no more snowball save they've held up jabs to the wall punch up into the sky as well analogs left high and dry and this lash will go down he can't snowball save him in time they're starting to lose heroes on heroic and this is what aurora were waiting for 23 comes up big and he slaps that disco pony down back to earth this is where we see fights make or break. It's all about the vision advantage and who gets the jump on who. Heroic, charging forward now. Oh, he blinks in! Into the anti mage, he blinks in, but he gets the spell shield off. He's getting control of the into the sky. He's dead! The off splitter can't save him. And Aurora, now they need to cut their losses. They're able to kill off Schofield and Jabs, trying to be the hero in the fight, just whipping up onto K1, but he doesn't have enough damage on the Razor. Oh, they're desperate. They're trying to find at least the Wind Ranger kill, but they can't even get that. Now, Lorinov needs the swash away to back on AM. He buys back. Aurora, they understand they might need to win this fight to stand a chance. They can't afford to give this Aegis up. Chasing forward. Your mana void onto Divine Lama is still very healthy on the mana pool. And he'll be able to onslaught out. Very awkward situation now. Oli, he's caught out KJ. Uh, at least settle for the support kills. But that's a buyback on your AM. You need to get this Roche. Electric. Or his cable. Yeah, run him out of battery. Whatever, you know? whatever that powers him. Dawai Lama. The setup onto Jabs. They're focusing down the Razor. He's dropping low. Punch up in the sky. No save available. Jabs is dead. Q has that Aeon disc to keep him alive for now. Divine Lama. He's run out of BKB charge. He needs to be careful. He's up against 23. Who's ready to fight. Huge Earth Slither catches onto the Primal Beast. But he's able to waddle his way back to the safety of the high ground. Aurora. They have to try and punish this somehow. I mean, just kind of wait around. Set up his there. Lift up in the sky. Scorpio in some trouble. We see 23 on the high ground. Get the stun off. It should be able to join the fight with relative comfort. Here comes the Vi Lama, has to pop the BKB and just blink out. Troublesome now for Aurora as they aren't really decisive on whether they want to fight or not. They'll mana void analog. But that's about all she wrote for this engagement. Remind me, those days. 10, 10 seconds cooldown or something? 15? Uh, uh, I just puked in my mouth. Analog. Sending those edicts and putting it to work now. The Vi Lama just on the front line trying to buy space again. The mana void is huge onto the Lash. Rolling Thunder coming through. There is still that second life for the Lash to play with. They just need to hold onto Lorinov. They aren't able to get their hands on that Rolling Thunder though. And a lot still staying alive on this first life. The lift back maybe will be enough. The Swashbuckle finds him. The question is if Aurora are going to commit on this second Lash life. Doctro. Just back up. Nice run throw, holding Jabs in place. Oh, the setup. Onslaught. Jabs. He's low on HP, but narrowly survives with that last little boost of HP. Not sure where that came from, whether that was a Lotus or a Cheese or maybe even the Greens, but keeps him up and running. Now onto the Rex, though. Again, analog. And looking for an opportunity. They spot out 23 on the sidelines. This is troublesome. Punch up. The, oh, the anti mage. He needs some help. He's being pulverized, but interrupted. The Vi Lama couldn't get his hands on him. Again. They're so good at cancelling out this Primal Beast and his Pulverizers, but that's not going to stop their Tier 3s from going down and Heroic. Happy with what they came for. Two teams with very fierce styles of Dota, but this time around they're playing... The Vi Lama? Cat. Catch out. Hold up, he needs to run away from Jabs, who's just whipping him into shape. Finally pops the BKB, but does he have the HP to get out? They turn around the Hex, the BKB runs out, and they kill off Jabs. The Vi Lama hides away under the cover of invisibility. And now 23 Savage in some trouble on the front lines. K1 chasing back Lorinov. And what looked like a pickup for Aurora turns bad fast. Control up this ring and just focus firing away on their racks with the Gale Force as well. And some time with the glyph. They don't want to buy back on death. Meteor hammer! Meteor hammer! 
at 50 minutes in the game. Here comes the Rolling Thunder, Lornoff looking for the opportunity, but the Mana Void goes out onto K1. That's not a target he wants. Now Lornoff in trouble, trampled down and dead. Yes, no, bye Anti Mage couldn't join the fight. He does have buyback, it's a 4v5 at best. TPing out are the members of Heroic. The left back Q has found K1, but not able to dispel or stop the win run. He's out of there. The chase is on as 23 knows he has to find something, but Devai Lama able to dispel himself with that uproar and just blink back to safety. Disaster for Aurora. Oh, Slash is going for the tower. Yeah. They just melt that so easily. Meanwhile, Devai Lama just solo kills Oli. Oh, he shot his uncle down. Yeah, he has to buy back. KJ, he's in the mix as well. This has become a bit of a mess, 23. Trying to focus down onto KJ, but the Nature's Prophet just... He has his sights set. He wants to get the objectives and the Megas. In comes the Rolling Thunder, but it's far too late. They get the Mega Creeps. Heroic, they're able to escape. They need to run Analog out of here though. Still controlling him, bumping him around. They'll get the first life. Looks like Heroic might just have to leave him for dead unless Schofield tries for some Heroics yes, again. Analog caught on the wrong side of the shard and has the Wind Wake up back up to the high ground. 23 with the chase, bashes up onto the Lash, but against K1, he can't fight. The Focus Fire a bit too strong, you'll send shards in to try and do your dirty work for you. Bloodstone he's and healing. BKB Bloodstone. caught by Analog now. He's healing, he's doing it, he's hexed up the AM, but it's not enough damage Hector's for now. Hector's trying him. to Focus Fire. Hector, he doesn't have a lot of mana though, but Hector gets it done. Buyback available for 23, and he needs to rejoin the fight. There's Alpo's going to TP into, but the rest of Heroic, they need to retreat now. They can't afford to lose Hector, but they will. He goes down, and now the chase up onto Devai Lama. Under the, the Trickster's Cloak again, he is fine. But your base, it's in shambles right now. The creeps, they're just beating into it, and you have to go back and defend. 25 minutes before she actually takes the tower. Oh, 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 onto the real AM. They realize that. They'll try and come in now. Devai Lama with the Booster Travels in. Q, no more A on this, lifts himself to the high ground, but K1 right on his heels and with the Rock Throw, they should be able to finish Q off for now. No! Able to get himself out of trouble. Lorenov with the roll as well. They are linking up a lot of damage on the K1. K1 is dead! Heroic over committing a little bit, and Aurora, great defensive plays to keep their Rubik alive. It's just a matter of Aurora. Do they feel comfortable trying to make some sort oh, of... Oh, Anti-Mage is caught. Now, it's Anti-Mage getting caught out. Pops the BKB ahead of the curve. Still turns around oh, no. to try for the, some action. The, the counter spell. No, it's going to waste so much time. The snowball. That's not where he wants to be. And he's not able to blink up. Finds himself in the stun. Oh, 23. That is not what you wanted. Disaster. It looked like for a moment, Heroic might have let it slip. But the Anti-Mage just gets caught out. The counter spell working against him. That's and now jabs. No allies, this has got to be it. I mean, you have a buyback on the Razor, but at the very best, it's going to be a 4v5 situation. Lash just ripping their towers apart. Aurora, they want to try and hang on. They've already hung on for so long, but what hope is left? The Stomp up setting up onto the Tusk, but again, the Vi Lama in just melts out the Rubik. You need to instantly buy back, but your throne, it's dropping low. They have a Glyph. It's going to buy them some time. Breathe, reset. What can you do? You've already lost the Razor the second time. Lorenov, there's nothing else he can give with this Pangle. The throne is going to fall and heroic they take it the distance in terms of duration but they're not gonna let aurora come back despite the late game advantage that they